Well, today has been a scorcher for Tasmania. <laughs> Started off rainy this morning, but it has turned it on. We're hit over 33 degrees, I think, which one of the hottest days we've yeah. had here. And top it off with some bloody ripping wind. So we have found a place to camp that has a swimming hole. Oh yeah. have decided just to cut a couple of things away up the east coast of Tasmania purely because my tick is still recovering from the episodes that I've just had and so we decided to cut away Wineglass Bay just because the hike's supposed to be really tough. Look we, and we thought there was not much else that we could do other than the hiking. That's so. right and Freychenet so we sort of just brushed past those. We'll get back to them one day hopefully. We just thought we'd just look for a couple of little uh, things that were probably a bit easier on me as I try and get my strength and that back and uh, head north up the east coast of Tasmania. So this episode we're going to be just showing you a few of the hidden little things that you might be able to do if you can't do any of the big hikes or anything like that, there is still plenty to there, see. Oh look, there is still an awesome amount of stuff to see in Tasmania. So come check it out. Let's go. Welcome back to another beautiful morning. We're checking out the Three Arches Bridge. Beautiful Ooh. day. So is that what you are expecting? Ah, uh, no, not really. <laughs> So uh, I get to go first because she doesn't want to go through the tunnel first in case there's spiders or ladies. Might be something in there that's spidey. There we go. <laughs> Don't lift your head because you'll definitely feel. <laughs> uh, well, it's not that pretty on the other side, but uh, definitely pretty in there. Alrighty, look, they're pretty cool. I'd imagine that the bridge level was just above these uh, tunnels, but the modern day they've built it right up above there. I don't old... understand why there's three. It look for water. Probably a lot of water runs right. through there. It makes water flow through nicely. You can walk through, you've got to crouch. Penguin walk. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> the view's alright from it, but... The camera just won't catch the view out the other side look, to I the thing. Look, I actually think the camp... Sorry, March fly. Sorry, March fly. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, the camping area is probably nicer than the bridges. It's the... Like, it's, if there was no one there, it'd be a not... Well, not no one there. If it wasn't as full... Look, here. long story short, it's a beautiful camp area Got and it. you would stay there if there was room, but currently it's full, so we're going to move on. And we don't have enough time to stay this close anyway. <laughs> You're blocking the light. I'm heading to the light. Don't go to the light. I'm going to the don't. Light. What's number one rule? The baddies. <laughs> That's right, look at that. It's actually quite a nice view when you get out to the end of this one. Better going from the bush side to the beach side. So this is Spiky Bridge. I read on the plaque, because it's got a plaque, that it was uh, built to uh, have a link between Swansea and the settlement below. And they said the convicts built it but I don't know why they made it spiky. I still reckon it's to keep the Tassie Tigers out. <laughs> well, that's one bloody way, but like I said, it doesn't say anything on the on the plaque, so maybe we should just uh, head up the road and see what we can find. 
I'm not sure this is a sign that Cain meant, but hey, we've found another one of Tazzy's 60 Great Short Walks at Swansea. So while we're here, we might as well go check it out. I was actually hoping for a nice view. That's what I'm looking for. But a uh, little bit of fresh debt since we're not going to make it over there. We'll see, I don't know. And no, not a tiger snake. <laughs> no snakes uh. at all. Now it's so windy that you couldn't actually hear Kane in the audio but what he's trying to tell you is this is where the fairy penguins come up and we know this because he's the poo expert and there is their poo all over the ground. So yeah, there you go, you can check out fairy penguins here. What have you got there Kane? That'd be a little fairy penguin feather when they molt. They do, they are like a little feather. Well, they are a feather. We thought they'd be a bit bigger, yeah. wouldn't they? So no, I'm told they molt all their little uh, baby fur feathers off, get their normal coat, and then they leave the nest. Because they can't go out when they're not waterproof. No, they're not waterproof when they've got this on here, but once they get the other feathers, they're all waterproof and home and hose. Look, we'd love to have done Freshnet, but look, just due to my health and time wasted, we sort of have to push on but we can come back it's the beauty about traveling we can always come back just a quick little stop into devil's corner for the lookout it's actually a vineyard but they do have a lookout building here which is awesome we probably won't get to check out the vineyard because we're heading to uh Pacino to check out the blowholes for lunch the weather in Tassie started off awesome. It's stinking hot today, so it's the first time we've been in Tassie where the wind that's picking up and it's howling is actually hot. So, uh, but we still at this thing here. It's nice Look, we've here. had everything. We've had rain this morning. Yeah, it did rain it's this morning. It's uh, been a beautiful day. Now it's up to over 30 degrees <laughs> and super windy. It is We just need some snow. It is blowing a gale. Even this building's rocking around a bit. <laughs> I can feel it. I think it's made yeah. out of sea containers that are tipped end on end. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely rocking and rolling. But... Pretty good view, though. Well, we've had lunch at Bacino. Oh, a nice lunch from yep. Bruni Island, our pickled beetroot. I know, beetroot. the pickled beetroot, how Yum. bloody good. Now we're just going to go down and check out the uh, blowholes. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of people coming down and going back, so mm, it's a, we don't know whether they're good, bad. Yeah, we haven't heard anything. That's no, right, you know, nobody's come back raving in excitement. Follow the white hey? arrows. But we're going to follow the white arrows. <laughs> There's baby fairy penguins come here too, so. I'm pretty sure they're not baby fairy penguins. I'm well, they're sure baby they're penguins, little penguins. little penguins. So we're down here to check out the blowholes. Sadly, it looks like the blowholes are a little bit uh, underwhelming today. I did tell uh, my wife, <laughs> which she said so we're not putting this in camera. <laughs> So Kane, what did you think of the blowholes? Look, they weren't too bad. It would have been way nicer with a much bigger swell. You could really see how they would just go off. But, but we did get to see a few though, didn't we? We did, and the stupid thing is, is every time we sort of turn around or turn off our camera gear, boom, there it comes. But yeah. we did get some good ones, didn't we? We got a yeah. couple of good ones. You should see, we're checking out the crabs, and I love watching the little crabs, and then bam, behind now, us, this big one goes off. It's ridiculous. Right. You just have to be patient, sit there, wait, use up a lot of recording. But it's really, it's close to, right next to the road, easy to get to. It is. Definitely call in and see the bits yep. of no blowholes, yeah. Definitely. But be patient, won't disappoint. Well, today has been a scorcher for Tasmania. <laughs> Started off rainy this morning, but it has turned it on. We're 
hit over 33 degrees, I think, which is one of the hottest days yeah. we've had here. And top it off with some bloody ripping wind. So we have found a place to camp that has a swimming hole. Oh yeah. So this is the first time I think I have been excited to hit water in Tassie. What do they call this place? Something um, lagoon. lagoon. Chain, Chain of, of lagoons. lagoons. Chain of lagoons. Look, it's an awesome little camp spot. So we are about to hit that water. Yeah, let's get our swim on. Chain of Lagoons is situated between Swansea and St. Mary's. It is what its name says. It is a chain of lagoons. So all linked up all the way to the ocean. Now we decided to swim in the lagoons. It's a lot calmer today than the ocean and it is very refreshing for such a hot day. Did we also mention that Chain of Lagoons is a free camp? I know, I can't believe it either. You need to come check this one out. Rocket seat. Oh, they're good rocket oh. So good. <laughs> so good. Oh, Pacific Gulf. Look at the size of the big Pacific Gulf. Coming in for a swoop. Wow. Look at you, big fella, oh, eh? Look at you. Give me some aerial displays of awesome. I know. <laughs> Ow! My toe got in a crack. So Kane's made some new friends. He's trying to invite the fishes to play. We've gone, we've gone past first base with the fish. We're on second base. They're smooching. And I'm liking it. Yeah, little fishy. Me and me mate the fish, we are sharing some tender moments. I've got me little hair done because we had a ripper swim today. Uh, Tazzy turned on the heat, so we managed to have a good swim. And now Trina's over there uh, doing the washing up. Doing all the work as usual. So, yes, well I will talk about it because nudity is part of life. You're not nude. <laughs> Okay, check out our banger camp at Chain of Lagoons. This is an absolute ripper. We didn't get to go to Freshenet. Well, we drove past. We stopped at Swansea and checked out the blowholes at Pacino and a few of those on the way. And we got to this place tonight and we're thinking we might stay two nights because it was such a good swim today that... Uh, why not? That's right, why not? We've still got time, even though the time's running out, we still have a bit of time. And we are going to just rip into this camp, have a great night tonight, see what tomorrow brings, and then we'll make a decision then. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, from Chain of Lagoons, how good is it to not have to pack up today and go anywhere? <laughs> so nice. I mean, we've only packed up two days in a row anyway, but... Uh, I know, you get, you get lazy. <laughs> it, it feels like you're rushing all the time it when you does, pack up every day. It does, it becomes a chore. I'm sorry for the people working, but pack, <laughs> packing up becomes a chore. <laughs> Yes, it's so nice to actually so, just relax. So we did relax. We watched a bit of TV this morning. Um, got up, had a bit of a late brekkie. 
Now we're going to do just a bit of cleaning up and wonder what are we going to do today? <laughs> oh, I've got so many just... things. Download footage, go for a walk, check out the beach. Oh, such, such. I'd actually like to play a game. Look, we can do that too. Such important things we've got to get done today. I know. One of the other big important things we're doing today is deciding where we put stickers that we get from other travellers. So our Widow Adventures, we met them. They yeah, give us a sticker. They actually gave us two. They did, they're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so you other guys that we meet, you better start getting yourself some stickers. We got a few coming in the mail as we well. We do have so a few coming in the mail. To turn uh, a couple, uh, I think there's an overseas one. Yeah, one not? from Spain. Mm, yeah, so well, we're, really cool. we're branching out. <laughs> we did think that uh, We'll probably clean this bit of a wall here and start sticking them all up there because when we open up the camper, you can see that. And it, it's also protected most of the day, like if we're driving and that, it's not always out in the sun. That's so. correct. Yeah, because these are important stickers. This is what I live for, is meeting all these wonderful people. Um, yeah, so that's a quite a big space. We need to fill that up. So we need your help. Yes. <laughs> so start getting yourself some stickers. If you're travellers and you're watching this, get yourself some stickers so we can fill our and then wall. hit us up in the comments below and we'll tell you where to email. We've got stickers to email back to you. Yeah, look, just quietly. We're not email, yeah. mail. We have met the Speedos. They are awesome too, but they have a photo fridge. So they take photos and stick it on their fridge. And if you can make their photo fridge you know, wall. you have to camp with them. Yeah, to make yeah, it. that's right, that's yes. right. So, so make our stick of wall. Yeah, so let's do this. After sweltering yesterday, today has turned out to be an overcast day. Come check out our camp at Chain of Lagoons. We've sort of camped right down the back because we're nice and quiet and all to ourselves. There is other people around but not next to us. We've got a fair bit of space. Come around the back here. You'll notice we have our own little track heading down to the lagoon area. So let's go check that out. Now yesterday was a really hot sunny day, but today a little bit more overcast, a few little showers. We haven't actually really been down here much. We've just been having a relaxing day. But yeah, not really a swimming spot this, but we do have access to the lagoon. And that's coming back to our camp. Was going to go for a walk, but it's now raining. So maybe I'll hide again until the rain goes. Let's have a look what Kane's doing. Oh look, it's really coming down now too. What are you doing, Kane? I'm looking at the blue sky over here. <laughs> <laughs> and rain falling down over there. So what do you do on a cloudy, rainy day where we're just having a bit of a chill? Chill, relax, maybe just type up a little bit of a book. Just, just whatever we want. It's nice to be able to just have time to do it those things, really isn't it? It really is. It really is. Hmm, am I going to get wet again? Hopefully not. I hope we've been able to show you there is so many amazing things that you can see on the east coast of Tasmania without having to do the hikes if you can't do them like us. But for now we're just going to sit back and relax and enjoy this coastline because we don't have much time left in Tasmania. In fact we've got about a week left and next week we are heading to what I've heard is meant to be the best waterfall in Tasmania. Make sure you don't miss that. Like, subscribe and come along for the adventure. See you next week. 
We, did we waste a good panic? Yeah, I thought I lost my water bottle. <laughs> I've got the water bottle. Hey, your arm. <laughs> Seriously. Found Kane's shop. This is it. Oh, yeah. The horny crane. Oh, yes. If you know me, that is me right over there. <laughs> it's, it's all good. I'm wearing underwear today, so my balls are a bit more contained. They're not just flying Kane. around. Oh, look. Beware of flying balls. <laughs> golf balls, Kang, golf balls. Just pick up right when you're going to film. Just hop a second, please. Bloody hot out here. Ooh, and check nice this out to behind me. She, she thinks she's awesome. For... I think. I know. <laughs> I am. I got it. <laughs> I look like I'm a nude. <laughs> I said I was going to do some talking, but I look like I'm nude. <laughs>